Hey, what's up, my friends? It's your friend Watchman El Velador 83 coming at you with a new video. I know I haven't posted any videos for the last week, I think, but I kind of been busy with work and I really haven't had that much time to be posting any videos. But today I want to post about something that's been going around the news since yesterday. And as a Watchman, I'm going to speak on the things that I see coming. And I must speak in, on this whole equality issue. As a Bible-believing individual, I must speak on the and, and share my thoughts. But first of all, let me just say something real quick before I start this video. What I'm about to say might offend some people. So before you continue, if you think you might get offended, stop this video and do not continue. But if you want to keep listening you are more than free to keep watching this video okay all right like i was saying that with this whole marriage equality homosexual marriage gay marriage being legalized in this country i cannot help to think that we are fast approach approaching god's judgment that will come to the united states and not only, I'm not talking about only just gay marriage and that's it. No, 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 no. I'm talking everything that we kind of been seeing for the last couple of years, last couple of weeks, last couple of months. You know, I'm talking about all the violence, all the depravity, all the stuff we see in music, television, cartoons, movies, the racism that is very well alive still. All the deaths, etc., etc., etc. Now, when we got this whole gay agenda, we are closer and closer getting to the times of Lot, the times of Sodom and Gomorrah. And as the watchman at the tower, I must blow the trumpet and I must tell everybody up to this point. We need to repent. We need to turn to God before this is too late. This whole equality, this whole thing that's been happening from Caitlyn Jenner to trans racial is just, I mean, all this violence, I mean, everything is just intended to turn us away from God. I mean, all we see going on lately is sin. Is like just like it was boundless back in Sodom and Gomorrah, it is now. And that's the only that's the reason why God brought judgment against Sodom and Gomorrah. And I'm not only saying because a, a lot of people get this confused, saying that well, your Christians are wrong because you people keep saying that He only brought judgment to Sodom and Gomorrah because. There was homosexuality. No, if you read the Bible correctly, he only he brought judgment to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because yes, there was a lot of sexual immorality. There was a lot of homosexuality going on. There was worshiping of demons going on. There was violence. There was a lot of pedophilia. I mean, it was just horrible. And God had to bring righteous judgment. And if we don't get on the right path, the same thing is going to be upon us. You know, I mean, he brought down fire. I mean, the only righteous people, it was just Lot and his family. But after that, the angels came and destroyed, rained down fire on Sodom and Gomorrah. And we all know why. But let me make something very really clear. I do not hate no gay people. I don't hate transsexuals, I don't hate bisexuals, I don't hate lesbians, I don't hate, as a matter of fact, I don't hate no people. Doesn't matter your sexual orientation, doesn't matter your race, doesn't matter your religion, it doesn't matter. I have love for everybody. One thing that I might not agree with your lifestyle, your sexual lifestyle, I do not agree. I'm a Bible believing individual and I do not agree with your lifestyle. 
you know. Because as God created man and created women, God intended for man to marry women. Matthew 19, starting at verse 4, And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that which made them at the beginning, he made them male and female? And he said, oh, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they, tw they, sh they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore there are no more twain but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I mean, we are violating God's law. We are violating God's, um, what he created, what he intended for us. We are just laughing in his face. And for you people, I mean, before we go to that judgment, you guys need to start seeking God. We need to get closer to God. We need to open up our Bibles and just know the times we are living in and um, I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I'm not I'm not here to preach you know I'm not perfect I have my own urges I fight against myself every single day you know and I'm keeping up the good fight and that's the same thing you should do that is written in the Bible that we need to keep fighting against our flesh, our earthly desires. I mean, people that drink, people that gamble, people who are addicted to sex. I mean, everything. Everything that's in this earth, we need to fight against. You know? But one thing I'm just telling you people is seek God, get close to God. Just because you're a homosexual doesn't mean God hates you. And stop believing all these Baptist churches that spread hate. No, 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 no. Obviously, they don't know the Bible. But God loves you. He created you. You are His creation. You are His children. God loves you, people. Open your heart up. Seek Him. And He will cleanse you from all sin. He will cleanse us all from all sin because we all of us are sinners we all fall we all fall sh short from the grace of God seek the Lord and seek God people I gotta go make sure you subscribe to my channel much love and God bless you all bye